All right, guys, look what the truck just dropped off here. This is... Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. At least the leather working slash, I guess now it's also the testing room because I am excited to present to you or introduce to you the newest addition, one of the newest additions to the shop here, which is this Rockwell hardness tester. So without trying to get too long winded here, I'm gonna briefly cover what this machine is, what it does, what I intend to use it for, why I purchased it. First of all, Rockwell hardness testing machine. This is a tool designed and, and used for testing the hardness of a material. Briefly, the way it does that is that you'll place your sample on this table here. You'll adjust the height here to contact the probe. This machine, in the sequence of uh, testing the hardness, will press the probe into the surface of the material with a specific weight. The machine measures how far that probe penetrates the surface of the material and that measurement is where you get the value or the number on your Rockwell, Rockwell hardness test. So for example, you have a knife, a knife blade that, that is 60 Rockwell hardness. That's how that is measured and determined. So uh, simple concept, actually fairly simple machine. It's quite heavy. Uh, and the reason for that is it's a heavy cast uh, steel body and that is because it has to be very, very rigid. If there's any flex in between these two points here, obviously that would greatly affect the reading because it would not actually be able to determine the actual depth that this uh, carbide or in some cases diamond probe actually you know, uh, indented into the material. So that's why it's so heavy and probably part of why it's it costs as much as it does. I did go with the foreign, yes, Chinese made model um, imported here by, by a company that's less expensive than an American made, quite a bit less expensive. And for my purposes, I believe it will do just fine. I'm not going to be testing things all day long every day. So I think for the amount of time or amount of use that I'm going to put into it, I think it'll be just fine. And like I say, also speaking with other uh, people who have used these, these machines are very, very similar uh, to this one. So why did I purchase this? Well, let me just say, first of all, this is not a necessary tool to make good knives, okay? Don't feel like you have to have a Rockwell hardness tester to make good knives. And if you don't have one, that you're not making good knives. So to this point, I haven't had one and I make good knives. And the way that I determine that is based on practical testing applications. So how well does this knife actually perform? Uh, for the given task and based on <clears throat> things like uh, you know abrasion resistance through, with cutting tests and and things like that there is a lot that you can determine with your heat treat and and get the best performance out of a particular steel that you're using so again this is not a necessary tool to make good knives in fact most bladesmiths and knife makers don't have one of these the reason i purchased it is because first of all the metallurgy behind this trade, uh, this craft, has always fascinated me. It has never been enough for me to just know like how you heat treat a blade. I want to know why and what is actually happening in the steel on the microscopic level with the atoms that are uh, involved, the, the chemistry, all of that. That that fascinates me. That's an area of this of this trade or craft or profession that I have pursued. Uh, and I and want to continue to to a deeper level uh, Like I said mainly because I, I want to know like that's just something that uh, trips my trigger if you will I enjoy that but beyond that um, I also want to in some form or fashion Some kind of format I'm not really sure exactly what that's going to look like but at some point I would like to provide some kind of instruction or information to you guys on heat treating and you know on a very practical applicable level and this tool is going to help me do that um, in combination with the practical testing and application that I currently do. I, I expect to be able to get some, some, uh, some data points, so to speak, that are relatable and, and, and constant that I can kind of bump up against in conjunction with the, uh, the testing that I currently do. And so I expect that to be, expect this, this to be useful in that pursuit as well. So just arrived today. I'm excited to get, you know, get into the, the instructions here 
and figure out how to use this. I, I know the basic concept, haven't used one before, so it's gonna be exciting. And I'm excited to utilize this in not just my business, but in future uh, potential content and instructional material uh, for you guys as well. So I just wanted to show you that, and it's pretty exciting, fun stuff. And uh, yeah, this uh, this week has kind of turned into rearranging and uh, you know build build a different bench and stuff for some other equipment that I'll be able to show you here uh, before too long. So some exciting stuff and plugging away, and uh, yeah, I. Great stuff to come. More, more projects, more awesome stuff. So I hope you guys are having a great day. As always, appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video.